What's the difference between being laid off versus fired? In this video, we're gonna talk about what is the difference and what are your rights? Stay tuned. Depending on where you are in your career, if you aren't familiar with the difference between being laid off, fired, furlough, quitting, all of them have different terms. In this video, we're gonna talk about being laid off versus fired. What are the implications and what are your legal rights in each scenario. First, let's talk about what the difference is. Let's jump over to my computer. Okay, so what is the definition or the difference between being laid off and being fired? Sometimes people will use them interchangeably, but the legal implications of being laid off versus fired are very, very different. So being laid off means that your organization is eliminating positions because of downsizing, other changes, closures, something unrelated to performance and unrelated to you as a specific employee. Being fired is usually a company relieving you specifically of a position due to cause. So it could be poor performance, it could be harassment, it could be all these different things. And based on how a company handles both situations, your legal rights change. So what are your rights if you have been laid off? Since being laid off is nothing toward you specifically, and it was a company's action based on business decisions, whether it be downsizing, closures, all that stuff that we talked about before, your options or your rights are a little bit wider um, in terms of what you have available to you. Most organizations, as a 99% of organizations, when they lay people off, they usually give them some level of severance. So it could be X amount of months or X amount of weeks of pay for however many years that you've been there. It could be a year of severance, depending on if it's a massive reorganization and you got laid off. Um, but typically organizations will give you a severance um, to offset the time that it takes for you to find a new job. And you also, if you qualify, are able to get unemployment benefits. And those are usually done through the states, whatever state that you're in, you can apply through um, the unemployment office within those or within those states that you're in. You also have the right to look for another job without any restrictions from your employer. If you have been fired, oftentimes if you're fired, they don't give you a severance package. Sometimes they do, um, but you're not entitled to one necessarily, depending on why you're getting fired. If you stole company secrets or something like that, or if you stole money from the cash register, they're not necessarily gonna give you severance. If it's something where you get fired because of some other reason, sometimes you get severance. In some states, if you get fired, you are able to apply for unemployment benefits depending on the context in which you got fired. So we talked about your rights as it relates to being fired or being laid off. Let's talk about when should you seek legal counsel. And I just wanna say, I am not a lawyer. I'm not offering any legal advice. I'm just saying if any of these apply to you, you might wanna start researching lawyers in your area. In the event that you were laid off, here's some examples of when you should maybe seek some legal advice. The first scenario is if you were promised a certain severance package and you didn't get it, or if it was a different amount than what you agreed on. The second scenario that you should maybe seek legal counsel is if you were laid off due to something, illegal activity like discrimination, for example. The third scenario in which you should seek legal counsel is if you signed a non-compete agreement and you're not really sure what the next steps are. Typically when you sign a non-compete and then you get laid off, depending on the contract that you sign, the company waives your right to find employment at a different organization. If you've signed a non-compete and you have some questions or issues about can you apply for this company, can you work for this company, you might wanna seek legal counsel to give you um, some advice on what your rights are in that situation. In the event that you were fired, what are the different scenarios in which you should maybe seek some legal counsel? The first is if you were fired due to discrimination or any sort of other illegal activity. The second is if you were fired in reporting illegal activity. And the third is kind of a blanket statement if you believe that your firing was wrongful, if you think that you have some sort of case against your employer. What other questions about being fired or laid off do you have? Or what do you think is the most valuable next step? Leave your comments below. And with that, I'll see you on the next one.